Hello students, welcome to one more amazing session from Infinity Land. This is Suresh, Faculty of Chemistry. Today we are going to discuss with the phenols reactions in one shot. So in the chapter grade 12 organic chemistry, alcohols, phenols and ethers is the most amazing and of short shot question given topic and in that you are going to expect one question from the phenol reactions. So before going for the phenol reactions in one shot, I just want to say something about the score examination. It is India's largest scholarship examination because it offers you scholarship worth of 1 crore rupees and study setup and laptop and also educational allowances and up to 100% scholarships are available. And also you can see, so NEET 2025 All India Test Series. And in this test series pack, you are going to see 27 EITS examination in that four part test and 13 unit test, which includes 10 grand tests purely on based on NEET and CRT syllabus and 20 online NEET full syllabus mock test and class 11 and 12 total syllabus is going to be co covered in that and 25 NEET topic wise PYQs and three physics chemistry books with video solutions on the app. And you can say detailed solutions and performance reports on every test and your performance is benchmarked with Sri Chaitanya students. And while yet it was 10,000 rupees and now we are giving for 4,199 and special discount when you apply SR40 as a coupon code. When you apply this coupon code automatically you are going to get this offer so why late in the link is given in the description box you click it and you enter this sr40 and you can enjoy this test series and let us start the reactions of a phenol in one shot you are going to get one question from phenols chapter in the upcoming neat examination paper we are expecting so and let's see types of reactions that are possible for phenol the phenol is having a structure like this and in this structure, you are going to see the reaction of the OH group and you can also expect uh, the electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. There are two kinds of reactions that are possible. So let us discuss the reactions due to OH group. The reactions due to OH group comes under the acidic nature of phenol. So I mean to say formation of a salt. So, re reaction of phenol with aqueous solution of sodium hydroxide forms a salt and water and you can see phenol reacted with sodium hydroxide gives a sodium phenoxide and water. It can also react with uh, uh, sodium metal to give a sodium phenoxide and hydrogen gas can be liberated. And one more important thing, it is acidic, phenol is acidic, therefore it is reacting with sodium hydroxide. It does not mean that it can react with sodium carbonate or sodium bicarbonate. It is very, very important. Phenol is a weak acid, so that it do not react with sodium carbonate or sodium bicarbonate. So, this is how you are going to distinguish between carboxylic acid and uh, sodium uh, carboxylic acid and a phenol. So, sodium carbonate or sodium bicarbonate is added so that carboxylic groups are going to be reacted with this to liberate carbon dioxide while phenol do not react with sodium carbonate, sodium bicarbonate. And formation of phenyl esters, phenol forms a phenyl ester through the reaction with an acid anhydride or acid chloride. You can see phenol react with uh, acetyl chloride or ethanol chloride to give rise phenyl acetate. So, it is an ester and also it same product can be formed if they react with acetic anhydride. So, in the presence of sodium hydroxide. So, this phenyl acetate is very important ingredient in the pharma industries and also formation of aryl ethers. It is uh, the most important reactions that in the preparation of anisole by Williamson ether synthesis and you can see phenol react with sodium hydroxide to get a sodium phenoxide. And this sodium phenoxide is a very good nucleophile and this nucleophile is going to react with methyl iodide by SN2 reaction to give rise. So, methoxy benzene, so this is called anisole, so it is an SN2 reaction and also formation of benzene by reduction. So, phenol when it is treated with zinc dust, you are going to see the zinc powder is going to take out this oxygen to form a zinc oxide 
and the benzene is formed. And also reactions occurring in the aromatic ring. So, the phenol has OH group on it. So, the lone pair of electron on the OH group is going to have mesomeric effect, a positive mesomeric effect. So, due to positive mesomeric effect, you are going to get a negative charge over here, you are going to get a negative charge over here. So, because of this negative charge, because of this negative charge, if an electrophile is attacked on the benzene ring, so the electrophile can attack over here or over here. So, that the upcoming electrophile you can see the phenol is going to give you electrophilic aromatic substitution at ortho position as well as at the para position. So, it is an ortho director and a para director. It is very very important and its ring is getting activated. And is, let us see the nitration and the bromination other kind of reactions in this phenol. Let us say the nitration of phenol. The phenol is going to react with uh, HNO3 in two ways we can say this is your phenol and the phenol is going to react with a dilute HNO3 initially later concentrated HNO3. So, what happens polynitration takes place here mononitration takes place. When mononitration takes place phenol is going to react to gives rise orthonitrophenol intramolecular hydrogen bonding and it is going to be paranitrophenol intermolecular hydrogen bonding. So, ortho and paranitrophenols that are formed over here can be separated by using the fractional distillation technique and you are going to see the formation of picric acid trinitrophenol. So, this is your picric acid. So, that can be shown in the next slide. Phenol with dilute HNO3, you got orthonitrophenol and paranitrophenol is further nitrated to give rise to nitrophenol or otherwise you can use a fuming concentrated nitric acid. You are going to see 246 trinitrophenol that is popularly known as picric acid and also bromination of phenol. Bromination of phenol takes place if the phenol react with Br2 in CS2. So, carbon disulfide is a non-polar solvent. You are going to get 4 bromophenol and 2 bromophenol, 4 bromophenol, para bromophenol is going to be the major product. If it is reacted with dilute or bromine in the presence of CS2, Okay, you are going to get 246 tri bromophenol. It is going to be a white precipitate. It is going to be the test for phenol. Along with neutral FeCl3, phenol react with neutral FeCl3 gives a purple to white coloration. That is a test confirmatory test for phenol. And Colesmead reaction, the phenol reacted with sodium hydroxide to give a sodium phenoxide. So, that it attacks the carbon dioxide to give rise a salicylic acid to hydroxybenzoic acid for the rearrangement. The final product is going to be 2 hydroxybenzoic acid is formed. This is otherwise called Kolb's reaction. And uh, contrast to that, one more reaction is there. Reamer Tiemann reaction, mind it, this Kolb's reaction and this Reamer Tiemann reaction is very important as far as preparation of painkillers antipyretics. So, you can see when the phenol is treated with chloroform in sodium hydroxide, is going to get intermediate compound when it is hydrolyzed to give rise salicylaldehyde. Mind it in this Reamer Tiemann reaction. CCl2 dichlorocarbon is the attacking reagent that is very important. So, that dichlorocarbon is the intermediate that is attacking species in neat examination a good question can be asked. So, phenol to salicylaldehyde is going to be the reamer Tiemann reaction when reacted with potassium hydroxide and chloroform followed by hydrolysis and oxidation of phenol. Phenol is oxidized by using a chromic acid to give rise a 2-1,4 benzoquinone. So, the phenol on oxidation is going to give rise a benzoquinone 
and uh, in this in this uh, series of the phenol reactions i have just shown reactions of acidic nature reactions of the electrophilic aromatic substitution nitration brumination and further oxidation and the reduction so these are the set of reactions that are very important for phenols and from this session you are going to expect one question based on this topic and stay tuned this kind of sessions we are going to give every day on a specific topic for the need journey so well you please like this session and share with your friends and subscribe to infinity land need channel thank you